Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about another audition that was released online and this one you won't be seeing anywhere so this is kind of exclusive to our channel so that's very exciting. Also we're going to be going over some details that were brought up to me the other day in terms of Supergirl's filming and why we haven't seen anything in the public and when we're going to be getting our first looks essentially out in the streets. So if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright so yeah let's talk about the audition first. So over the past few days I made a few videos in fact I made two exactly which will be linked in the description below because they are about two other auditions and this third audition was online but has since been privated. And so I went around and I asked, you know, what does this privated stuff mean? Like, does it mean that they've been cast? Does it mean that, you know, they've been rejected? Or they've just been told, you know, take it down or something. And a lot of the time when people get cast, apparently they do take down their auditions. And, you know, the other day I saw some old casting tapes and old audition tapes and I saw one of the Flash actors auditioning to be Kara. Obviously that never happened. She turned out to be Allegra on The Flash. That's very interesting. I just saw one of those on Vimeo the other day and sometimes you see these castings and they are put out online and you see the auditions and they are just from random people or the people that become someone else and that's why you see them because oh you're like oh yeah I recognize that person. But for this case, this one was taken down and speculation right now is that maybe this actor has been cast and we are 75% sure that she is American according to my source and so about 25% the source said roughly that maybe she is a Vancouver local. Obviously this plays a big factor and it played a big factor with that Nick guy the other day because he turned out to be nothing. And I know who he's playing, but I can't reveal it. I've been told not to say anything. However, where you come from is a big factor because if it's someone auditioning from America and they've took down their audition tape, high chances are they've probably been cast. And if they're from America, I don't think they're going to come in, quarantine for two weeks and then, you know, do one day and then go back to America. I don't think that's worth it, no matter how much money you make from it. So I'm pretty sure this role is pretty big if she is American and we'll have to wait and see because this video has been taken down and there is no video of it and we don't know who the actress is. It's a young girl, she's very young, she's about five years old apparently and the audition was online for a while, you know, a couple of months ago and then it was privated recently and so the description as to what happened in that audition and the character that she was playing or she was trying to play was that it was a little girl named Emma who is an alien who escaped her planet but her father died and in the audition she is talking to a woman about it and the conversation kind of goes as in like she is talking to her mother, however she actually never says mum in the audition and really only talks about her dead father but possibly it could be foster care and we have a theory about where this could lead to. So this is interesting, this is all the details we got from that audition because it was removed and so it seems like she is at least playing some sort of substantial character who may be around for like two episodes or something or will be around for like one full episode. It doesn't seem like she's just going to be a little girl who just pops up randomly, considering if she is American in fact, but again, I can't say that for certain, but we're pretty sure she's American. And so, yeah, she's called Emma. This is the character's name, and she is an alien who escaped from her planet, but her father died. Again, that sounds pretty similar, similar to what happened to Supergirl when she escaped Krypton, Kara survived, her father died, and, you know, her whole family died, essentially. So, I guess, you know, what could happen here is maybe, just maybe, there is some sort of link between her and Supergirl. I feel like if this character is substantial, Supergirl will probably meet her at some point and console her, because she literally went through the same thing. She escaped her planet, her family died, but she survived. And so there is some sort of trauma in that or some sort of guilt in surviving and, you know, overcoming that and, you know, becoming who you're supposed to be, I guess. And so apparently she is talking to someone about it. It could possibly be foster care, it could be a mum or it could be someone else. And so if it is foster care, there is a interesting factor 
alright? So she's escaped her planet, she's arrived on Earth, and, you know, she's lost, and she's been taken in by foster care. That would make a lot of sense, rather than maybe her mum getting away, unless they have some sort of big spaceship. If it was a pod like Kara, it's only going to fit one person, and so I'm going to presume for now that it's just her, and it's not her mother talking to her in the conversation. And so, if it is in fact foster care, could it be possibly that Alex and Kelly are looking to adopt this little girl? Because that has been a big thing for Alex's storyline, and considering that we're going into the last season, and this has been teased for years, that was the whole reason why Maggie and Alex aren't a thing anymore, because of that. That was their reason they came up with, and Alex has been so committed to the idea of having a child, having a child to care for, and I think foster care is something that she really has considered as of right now. And so this would be great because it would be a way for her to train her own little supergirl because she's experienced. She's looked after her sister, you know, her adopted sister Kara, since she came to Earth. And she could do that again for a little girl. And I really like that theory. I think that is actually very good. Let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below because I think I think this is something that Alex should do this season because they have led up to it for so long and it seems like this girl Emma is in need all right so yeah that is the audition and I wanted to move on to the second part of the video again you can't find this audition online so it's just this description that we've been told sorry about that so let's move on to this next topic and this is the fact of Supergirls filming and why we haven't seen them outside so, since Supergirl's return to shooting a few months ago, obviously Melissa hasn't been on set. I'm pretty sure you guys all know that by now. We have all the rest of the cast members there, and they've been shooting as much as they can until Melissa comes back. They're going to be going on a Christmas break very, very soon. And after that break, Melissa will return for the first time this season to shoot for season 6, the final season. And they're going to continue filming until August. It's going to be a long long shoot for them. And notably, there has been a lack of outdoor filming, and that may be due to a multitude of reasons, you know, safety reasons are the primary thing right now as to why I think that they are kind of, you know, playing it down a little bit, waiting till January, maybe you'll have a little bit better of a control of the virus in Vancouver, maybe they were thinking something like that, or they were waiting for a vaccine to come along. However, I think the main factor is Melissa is not there. And whenever we're on the street, pretty much all the time, Supergirl is there because it's normally battle scenes, fight scenes, anything like that, that happens outside. Pretty much nearly always is with Supergirl, apart from a few scenes where it's like Alex and Maggie walking down the street, but normally it incorporates Supergirl in some way. So, as of right now, Supergirl Season 6 has had no outdoor shoots to our knowledge. And this is interesting, and we talked about this in yesterday's stream where Canada Graphs joined in. So where Supergirl films is in a film studio which is up in a place called Langley. And I didn't know this and I'm sure most of you guys who aren't from Vancouver or aren't from Canada and aren't aware of the distances, you know, surrounding like where you can go in Vancouver. So this place called Langley is about an hour or so outside of Vancouver so it's actually not in the city of Vancouver. Is on the outskirts apparently. So that is a long way out from where Canada Graphs is, YVR shoots, and all those people who get photos for us behind the scenes. And if there is no notices, no one's really going to venture up on a hunch that Supergirl is going to be filming up in Langley because it is a long way away from everything else. And so unless they come down to Vancouver or something is confirmed to be shooting up in Langley, we won't see much. That is a fact and I think now you know the kind of geography and how far away Supergirl actually films in their film studio, it's very unlikely that we're going to see much as of right now, and I suspect we won't be seeing much on the streets there until Melissa is back. And why? Like I mentioned, I think it's because most of the scenes outside feature Supergirl and they don't want to try and redo and replicate the lighting for that specific day because that's going to be nearly impossible. So, I believe once we get to January, Melissa is back, Supergirl is back into filming after their break. I believe we're going to see street shoots. But as of right now, we would not have known if they've shot in the streets of Langley because there's been no notification for all of the people who go around and take videos, take photos of the sets up there. And so, unbeknownst to anyone, maybe they've been shooting on the streets, but there have been no photos as of right now. 
because no one has known about those street shoots if they have done them and they could do them up in Langley and no one would notice. So I think we're gonna have to wait a while until we get our first official look into Supergirl Season 6. Obviously we've seen some inside studio looks from some of the cast members which are mainly just behind the scenes photos, they don't give away much, it's just the actors in the costumes. And it actually seems like they've been doing most of their shooting in studio since they've been back. But anyway guys, that is about it for this video. If you did enjoy the video and you want to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment because that always helps out. And also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss those videos. But for now, go check out those other audition videos which are in the description below. There is two of those, you can check them out. They are actually videos that you can watch yourself. You can see the audition tapes in full. So please be sure to go check them out. And for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.